Today on the spot, EA swings by the studio to show us a little Dead Space extraction. Bam! They get cut up. We'll give you the inside scoop for Halo 3 ODST's new multiplayer firefight mode. Non-stop waves of enemies. Check out the latest on PlayStation Network. Recap the loads of awesome content that hit the site last week. And give away a ton of free stuff. All that and more, today on the spot. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Sean McInnes, and joining me is my guest, Sophia Tong. Now, Sophia, before we get started, I have to say I just got back from Cologne covering Gamescom, and it looks like you guys had a little bit of fun in the office while I was out. What, you didn't like all the junk we put on your desk? No, I liked it. I liked it. It was cool. It's just took a little bit of time cleaning all of that up. Uh, but let's not dwell on that. Let's get right into the show. Now, we've been doing it for a little while now. But if you guys aren't caught up, if it's your first time watching, today on the spot is our three times weekly show where we play some games, try to make sure that you guys are caught up in the world of gaming news, and just generally try to have a good time with what we're showing. But uh, before we get started, Sophia, is there anything that you wanted to add? Yeah, I just want to let you guys all know that be sure to stay tuned for the entire show because we have a Dead Space demo coming up, more Halo news, and we love to give away random cool stuff, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Random cool stuff is some of my favorite stuff in the world. Me um, too. Cool deal. Let's throw it to Tor Thorson to see what's going on in the world of news. Hey everybody, it's a GameSpot news update for Saturday, August 29th. I'm Tor Thorson. Do you like games of talking pigs designed by Frenchmen? If that's the case, I've got some bad news. If reports out of Europe are true, Beyond Good and Evil may be in development limbo. A reporter for the French game news site Gamasad claims he has first-hand confirmation the sequel to the 2003 cult hit is, quote, on hold. Yeah, I know, that's kind of thin. But keep in mind the Michel Ancel developed game has been missing in action since it was first announced in May 2008. It wasn't shown at E3, where Ubisoft aggressively pushed Splinter Cell Conviction, which was promptly delayed till 2010. So even if development of Beyond Good and Evil is underway, we aren't going to see it till what? 2011? Ugh. <sighs> oh, I I'm sorry, this whole thing? I bought this three days ago. That's right, despite Sony's announcement that the PS3 Slim would launch on September 1st, the console is already on sale at many retailers. We did an impromptu survey, and GameStop is already selling out of the console, while Best Buy still has a good amount in stock. However, general retailers like Target and Walmart are sticking by the street date, and dictated by their corporate overlords, they won't sell it till Tuesday. Suckers! Hey, that's all the news not fit to print. For more headlines like these, head over to news.gamespot.com. And thank you, Sean. I'm off to the haberdashery. <laughs> what, what? Thank you, Tor. You are a true gentleman. Now let's take a look at a little thing we like to call This Week on PlayStation Network. This week on PlayStation Network. In the full downloadable games department, Invincible Tiger The Legend of Hand Tao is released on Friday for $14.99. Fight your way through countless foes as you work your way through six environments, facing off against swarms of enemies, leading to satisfying boss fights. Invincible Tiger The Legend of Han Tao does a decent job of mimicking the style of some of the old kung fu classic films, complete with cheesy dialogue and bad dubbing. While visually impressive and fun boss fights are included, some of the ease in button mashing your way through the bulk of the level should be noted. Two players can fight through the levels together, either locally and online, which is a lot of fun with someone of your own skill level, though playing with someone who dies a lot is a bit frustrating since both of you share lives from the same pool. Also new for full download this week are the PS1 classics Cold Borders 2, Tomb Raider 2, and SimCity 2000. Each goes for $5.99 and are available now. Game demos just didn't include Wet, which pitch you as heroin Ruby Malone, who packs two guns, swords, and the skills to use them. Being able to slow down time temporarily while running on the wall, sliding on the ground, or jumping in the air gives you a chance not only to aim, but also time for style. Wet is rated M and is scheduled for release on September 15th. A demo of Dirt 2 also hit this week and comes with two events and two vehicles from the full game roster. Featuring eight-player head-to-head online racing, Dirt 2 is a demo racing game fans should check out ahead of the game's release on September 8th. Lastly, a demo of Fear 2 Project Origins is now available for download. Check out the demo to see highlights from the full game, which was released this past February. Add-ons hitting in time for the weekend include new downloadable fighters for Fight Night Round 4. For $4.99, the new Champions Pack includes additions of George Foreman, James Tony, Oscar De La Hoya, and Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko. Also new, the Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen Maps, and Character DLC. 
For $9.99, you get 11 new characters, both from the movie and the beloved Generation 1 Transformers, including Megatron, Optimus Prime, and Starscream. Also packed in are three new maps, a new expert mode difficulty setting, and achievements. Lastly is the new Star Wars The Force Unleashed map pack for $9.99 that lets you visit Tatooine in a story that continues the evil ending. In the game trailer section, new trailers for Mag, White Knight Chronicles, Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time, and Heavy Rain all hit this week. Well, that's all the time we have. Make sure to check GameSpot.com and PlayStation.com to see the full list of new releases this week on the PlayStation Network. All right, there's your PlayStation Network update for the week. Now, Sophia, not too long ago, I made the trip up to Bungie, their uh, Kirkland Studios up there, to have a look at Halo 3 ODST, where I got a bunch of info and footage for a new multiplayer mode they're calling Firefight. Well, didn't you also get a chance to interview Lars Bakken, the lead designer? I sure did. Let's have a look at that interview right now. Hey guys, we're here at Bungie Studios in Kirkland, and I've got Lars Bach in here to tell us a little bit about Halo 3 ODST Firefight Mode. Now, Lars, the uh, the Firefight Mode is sort of a take on the uh, survival or horde mode that's been sort of going around lately, but you guys have put a really unique Halo twist on it. What can you tell us about that? Sure. I mean, I think, you know, the idea of the survival game has obviously been around for a while. This is really just, Firefight is really just our take on it. And I think the thing that makes it different is is obviously the fact that You've got your entire Halo sandbox. So you've got all the weapons, all the vehicles, all the Covenant, the wicked Halo AI. You mix all that together. You throw on skulls. Um, you add in uh, limited lives and health and weapons, and it all kind of mixes up into this super intense experience of, of you and your buddies fighting against non-stop waves of enemies. Well, let's talk about the maps you guys are showing today. Security Zone, Alpha Sight, and Crater Knight. Um, can you describe these three maps in general and sort of the differences that set them apart from each other? Sure. Um, so Security Zone and Alpha Sight actually take place in the same campaign map. Um, firefight, consists, firefight levels consist of places in the campaign that you've been to already. And so Security Zone is the exterior of the Oni building. Um, which you'll play through once you play the campaign. And then Alpha Site is inside the Oni building. So they play very differently. One is is really wide open exterior. You've got phantoms dropping off guys. You've got wraiths down at the bottom of the hill um, shelling your position. And then Alpha Site is a much more interior, uh, small focus, like hand-to-hand, um, -hand, almost close quarter stuff. Um, so they play very differently. And then Crater Knight, is, as the name implies, takes place at night, and you've got actually guys getting dropped off in phantoms and coming through kind of doors that are in the environment. So they're coming to attack you in multiple ways. So Crater Knight adds a different layer of strategy with the visor mode, where you can sort of like outline enemies in the distance. How does that work exactly? So right, um, we really wanted to have a different experience for the different maps, and, and Crater Knight is one of those where we were able to really utilize the visor mode and like like you said it actually is a low light amplification but it also calls out the enemies so the enemies will be ringed in red your friendlies will be a ringed in green um, and so it makes it a little bit easier to see obviously because it's like a night vision uh, perspective well Lars I'm usually pretty terrible at these survival modes but I had a great time with firefight so that leads me naturally to my final question uh, when are we gonna see ODST available in stores September 22nd right, Lars thanks a lot September 22nd, right around the corner. Stay tuned for more. Well, all that time travel is starting to hurt my brain a little bit, so let's jump back into the present day. Uh, just so you guys know, you can check out more information on all the games that we cover on the show by going to the individual game spaces for more information, including previews, news, and video. But definitely a lot of stuff going up on the site this past week. Yeah, and there's more. So the Dead Space Extraction trailer wasn't the only exclusive that we had. Brian Eckberg actually met with the executive producer in today's Daily Demo. Hey everyone, Brian Eckberg here. We're talking about Dead Space Extraction and I'm joined by Steve Patpoutsis. This is a Wii game that follows up from the original Dead Space, correct? That's right. Dead All Space right. Extraction is an original game made exclusively for the Nintendo Wii that follows a group of survivors from the Aegis 7 colony as they try to seek sanctuary up on the Ishimura. Okay. So today what we're going to look at is chapter six of the game. So at this point, the party has just recently left the medical deck. They just had a run-in with Nicole Brennan, for fans of the series who may know who she is. 
uh, and they found their way and stumbled into what we're calling the water tunnels of the Ishimura, which is directly below the hydroponics deck. The chapter actually starts with the team actually kind of having this water slide moment where they're kind of getting tossed around in the in the water tunnels and they kind of land in the middle of basically what is essentially a sewer system mm -hmm. and they're kind of down here and as they're, as they're hunting through to try to find their way out, they stumble across a couple of new enemies. You'll actually see the water creep, which is an all new enemy. Um, there's lots of different things to pick up, new weapons that you haven't found to this point in the game and uh, a couple of branching paths and some reintroductions of some old enemies like the Exploder and the Female Slasher appear in this chapter. Right, so let's let's take a go look. ahead and let, let the game go. I don't think I'm giving too much away when I say big room means big something, right? Yes, there's... <laughs> Something's gonna happen in here, possibly. Okay. God, that smell. There's a thousand crew on this ship. Waste water has to go somewhere. Hello there! Freeze! I'm not going anywhere. And there's no need to point that thing at me. Who are you? Dr. Howell, agricultural engineer. And relax, that isn't grey water. We're below hydroponics. What you smell is nutrient effluence. Who are you? Sergeant Weller, ship security. What are you doing here? There was some kind of fight in hydroponics, and I heard on the radio about an attack through the vents. I decided to wait down here till security gave the all clear. Is that why you're here? Not exactly, Doctor. Why don't you get up here and tell me what's going on? Come and dry off, you must be wet through. Best bloody idea I've heard in a long time. That was Karen Howell, who people may have seen in one of our other previews, which was in the hydroponics deck. You actually play her in the next chapter. And this is the first boss you're going to encounter in the game. This is our water boss. So the idea here is I need to shoot the tentacles to kind of stun them and then use the environment to cut them off. So let's see if I can do this. What, what kind of weapons are you using here? Well, I've got a whole arsenal of, of weapons. I've got the plasma cutter. I've got our rivet gun. I've got what we call the contact beam. And uh, I've got the arc welder. Okay. While you're sort of stunning, them, can you give us a rundown on the controls? Sure. So I'm using the Wii remote to aim and shoot, pressing the B button to fire. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you notice, from time to time, you'll see a little circle come up around the reticle. That's when I'm doing a reload. Okay. That's our timed reload. If I do it properly, I'll actually reload my clip instantly. Uh, the nunchuck, if you go, if you waggle it back and forth or swipe it like a knife back and forth, uh, that's our rock saw. Mm -hmm. We just saw the fan there. That That's a clue, I think. There, I think there's a little <laughs> clue there with the fan, right. So if I stasis it like I did and get in here, I can actually lure the tentacles in. And then, bam! Boom. They get, they get cut up. And that's kind of a little tease of uh, the Chapter 6 boss in Dead Space Extraction. All right, well, there you go. You're going to have to do that several more times because he's got four tentacles. But uh, I've seen the whole fight. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, Steve Papoutsis, thank you for being thank here. Dead Space much. Extraction, when's it coming out? September 29th. All right, September 29th. If you guys want to know more about the game, check it out at GameSpot on the Game Space. A lot of stuff has hit the site in the last week. In case you guys missed any of it, we want to dial back the clock and give you a look at our weekly recap. On Weekly Recap, we'll be checking out the hottest previews, reviews, and videos of the past week. On the previews front, this week saw our international cover shine as GameSpot was in Cologne, Germany, checking out Gamescom, which has become the biggest video game show on the planet. Check out the PS3 Slim announcement and the price cut in the Sony press conference, the Forza Motorsport 3 game demo, the Gamescom video wrap-up, as well as all the previews, demos, and interviews in the Gamescom 2009 event page. We also saw Blizzard's official gathering of the year, BlizzCon, this week, with new information on StarCraft II, Diablo III, and the WoW expansion, Cataclysm. Search the site for BlizzCon 2009 for all the latest articles and videos from the event. In reviews, we saw the release of the much-anticipated Batman Arkham Asylum. According to reviews editor Justin Calvert, Batman Arkham Asylum does an outstanding job of letting you be Batman. 
The compelling story mode sucks you right in, the fast-paced combat never gets complicated, there's a ton of unlockables, and the game just looks and sounds uniformly impressive. This week also saw reviews for Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box on the DS, Smash Cars on the PlayStation 3, Curse Mountain on the Wii, Osmos on the PC, and the third add-on for Fallout 3, Broken Steel for the Xbox 360. Finally, the craziest video to come across our site this week was by far the super commercial for the game, Serious Sam, the first encounter HD. A legendary game and injected it with a whole slew of digital awesome by using advanced technology. Do I really need to say anything more about this clip? See for yourself. That's it from me, I'm a hardcore gamer and I can access to the Polygon count in this title that is full of visual splendor. See this video as well as many, many more that hit the site this week in our video section. That's all the time we have for this week's weekly wrap up. See you next week. All right, it's time once again to test your trivia knowledge and compete to win some of that free stuff we mentioned at the top of the show. Yeah, but before we do, let's show a list of all the people that won the Guitar Hero 5 prizes from Thursday's Gameplay Challenge. If you see your name on that list, the prize is in the mail. Congratulations. Now for today, we've got a compilation of items that we're going to give away, starting with this signed Street Fighter 4 training manual by Yoshinori Ono, the game's producer. The question I have for you is, name the first Street Fighter game that the character Adon appeared in. And for our next prize, identify what game this piece of artwork is from and who signed it. And lastly, for an undisclosed number of copies of this paperback novel, Gears of War, Jacinto's Remnant, tell us the musician in the Mad World trailer on the site for the original Gears of War. On Thursday night, we headed out to XSEED's gaming event here in San Francisco to check out some of the stuff they had on display. And of course, when I say we, I mean Sophia. So is there anything that particularly struck you about that before we take a look at the clip? Yeah, The Wizard of Oz. I actually previewed that game earlier, and I kind of like it. All right, well, let's go on location to check out some of the stuff that XSEED was showing off. Hey everybody, it's Ricardo and I'm here in downtown San Francisco at the XSEED Games event with Sophia Tong. Now XSEED's going to be showing off some of the games that they have coming out later this year. What do you want to see first? I want to check out The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz it is, let's go. Hey, I'm here with Ken and now we're going to talk about The Wizard of Oz Beyond the Yellow Brick Road. So, what is happening with this DS game? <laughs> Well, everybody knows the story from the movie. Um, basically, Dorothy takes the entire movie to get to the wizard and talk to him. Well, this game, you're going to do that within the first hour. So from there on, we're going to cover everything that people didn't see. Sounds pretty cool. Now, when can we expect this to come out? Uh, this will be coming out on September 29th. Hey, and we're standing here with Christine Nakashima, product coordinator at Exceed Games, and she's going to tell us about Juan the Grudge Haunted House Simulator. This is a game that's uh, inspired by the movie Grudge. This is a haunted house simulator game. Your Wii Remote acts as your flashlight. You just point inside the dark area, and as you go along, you're gathering battery pack, which is pretty much your life gauge. When you run out of battery, you die. OK, cool. Now, when's the game coming out? Um, it's coming out on October 13th, right before Halloween. I'm joined by Jessica, who's showing off uh, the sky crawlers. So what can you tell us about the game? It's a flight simulator, but it's actually pretty intuitive. It's set in an alternate world where peace has been pretty uniform. There are two corporations that actually fight to promote war. All right, and when's the game coming out? Uh, we're shooting for winter this year. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, we're here with Ken, and he's showing off Valhalla Knights. So what can you tell us about this game? Uh, Valhalla Knights Eldar Saga for the Wii. It's uh, Valhalla Knights, the first two iterations were released on PSP, and this is the series making a big jump over to a ho home console. Uh, a lot of the same customization, the level up, the grinding that the hardcore gamers love, but brought to a whole new level. All right, sounds good. And when can we expect it out? It is coming out this fall. Thanks so much for your time. All right, and there you go. That is your look at Exceed's titles. Um, I don't think you're going to find too many places where you'll have a flight sim and a Wizard of Oz RPG, will you? That's true. This is the only place you're going to find that together. All right, for more on the games, check out the site. Well, that'll do it for the Saturday, August 29th episode of the show. Yeah, and before we go, be sure to check our site and put in your brackets for the all-time greatest game hero. For the rest of the Today on the Spot crew, I'm Sean McInnes. And I'm Sophia Tong. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching.
I'm talking to the viewers, not Jan. Sorry. You're, you're beautiful too, in a different way. It's a pretty sweet piece of artwork. Yes, it is. It looks kind of familiar though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I would mm. say so. Sophia, so yeah. before we get to that, anything you want to mention? Well, I'm, I already took, took, uh, I already took a look at the yellow brick road. <laughs> Can we do that? Good. I think that's a keeper. 